We're going to solve a word problem involving fractions. I would read the question first. Anne and Clint went to the mall with an equal amount of money to buy their mother a birthday present. Anne purchased a $52 bracelet and Clint bought his mother a bottle of perfume for $62. After the purchases, Clint had three-fifths of the money that Anne has remaining. How much money did each start with before their purchase? It's a challenging problem. Algebra can be used to solve the problem and at times arithmetic as well. Arithmetic is simply to me the manipulation of, of the numbers. No variables are involved. However, I'm going to solve this problem visually so go ahead and try the problem on your own. For some reason if you cannot solve it the solution follows, so go ahead, pause the video right now, and solve the problem on your own. So if you read the question carefully, you're going to see or observe that after the two purchases, Clint had three-fifths of the money that Anne had. Anne had some leftover money, and I'm going to put five little pieces, identical pieces. I don't know what each piece is worth. It could be worth ten dollars, five dollars, depends on on the number on these numbers. Fifty two dollars, sixty two dollars. And if Anne had five bits, Clint must have had three equivalent bits. Now I don't know what the value of each bit is. That's what I'm trying to find out. I do know one more thing that Anne spent $52 and Clint spent $62. Clint spent $62, uh, sorry, Clint spent $10 more than Anne. I know that. Clint spent $10 more than Anne. So let's say this is the amount Anne spent. Okay, then this is the amount Clint spent. Now I do have to understand one thing, that the total amount of money that the two siblings had must be, originally the total amount of money the two siblings had must be the same. Now the red rectangle represents the amount of money Anne spent, the smaller red rectangle, and the bigger red rectangle represents the amount of money that Clint spent. Now the difference between the two amounts is ten dollars, so this has to be ten dollars. Just this part has to be ten dollars. What does that mean? That means these two boxes must be equal to ten dollars. And each box therefore must be equal to five dollars. So Anne must have had five times five, twenty-five dollars left. going to write it here. And Clint must have had $15 left. Now this is a very important and crucial step and fairly challenging to understand. I'm going to go over it once again. We decided that Clint had three-fifths of the money that Anne had. So if Anne had five bits, Clint must have had three bits. We know that Clint spent more money and Anne spent less money, so we add two rectangles so that the entire length of Anne's amount equals the entire length of Clint's amount. Now we know the difference between the amount of money Anne spent and Clint spent is $10. So this $10, this must be equal to $10. That means these two boxes must be equivalent to $10. So each box must be equivalent to $5 if Anne was left with five bits or five boxes. So we can conclude N was left with five times five, twenty-five dollars. And if Clint was left with three boxes and each box is worth five dollars, Clint was left with fifteen dollars. So the red part is easy. This has to be sixty-two dollars. and this has to be fifty two dollars. 
So the question wants us to find how much money did each have before their purchase. So Anne had 52 plus 25 is 77 dollars. And of course, Clint had the same amount, and if you had 15 to 62, you're going to get 77 as well. So the answer is 77 dollars. This is my answer. I wouldn't add the two because they want us to find out how much money each start with. So the answer is 72.